Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am hoping that everybody had a fantastic uh, summer. Okay, so as it is September, uh, it is time to start making something a little bit warmer for our babies. So this is what I came up with. So this is a pullover hoodie for babies, uh, sizing zero to six months. It is kind of a general pattern. Okay, so it will be like this part will be exactly the same for everybody and then we will just adjust the sleeve length or the hoodie uh, length like the the full length uh, the hood length uh, if you are going to make it for a smaller baby you're gonna have to make it a little bit shorter if you will be making for a uh, slightly bigger like three to six months you will make it a little bit longer I will explain that all as we are going to make it okay so quickly um, let's just talk a little bit about the pattern so this is how it looks it's really pretty it's super soft like it's really 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 soft um, and it is a uh, technically it is a two row repeat to get one of these uh, fans finished but we're gonna have four repeat rows to do the yoke because we are going to have to do different things uh, in the corners right here to get the pattern as it is. Okay, other than that, we have ribbing at the bottom, ribbing at the ends of the sleeves, and a ribbing all the way around the hood. That makes the hood r like really, really nice. Okay, and this opens. Now, this is a size uh, zero to three months. Uh, I have a slightly bigger one with one difference. So as you can see, you can leave it to open in the front if you want. The only difference is that you don't connect right here. You just keep going, starting at finishing at the front. Where if we will be making a, a pullover just like this one, w once we connect at the front, uh, we will con uh, once we connect the front right here, we are going to go into the back and start our rows there, so it is not noticeable. So the only difference really is uh, that you're going to have an opening in the front like this. So this is a size 3 to 6 months. It is slightly uh, bigger, just uh, a little bit longer sleeves, a little bit longer right here. Again, like I said, I will explain this all to you. Other than that, everything is exactly the same it looks really nice okay uh, so one more uh, choice that you have is to make uh, a pullover without a hood so you just kind of attach the ribbing around the neck if you don't want the hood and you have this again uh, as you can see I have three colors in this you can have more or you can just do it in one color uh, usually I have a lot of um, leftovers and I try to use them up so Again, this is a choice. If you have some leftovers, it's a fantastic way um, to use them up. Anyways, uh, so this is how they look. You must have seen a few photos in the beginning of this video uh, and we can get started on it. To make this pullover, we are going to need four stitch markers. A needle we are gonna have to do a little bit of sewing and to hide the tails two buttons now you need two if you're going to make a pullover if you're going to make a open front you're gonna need more completely to you to decide how many you want to use I have got these uh, small buttons which are approximately 13 maybe 14 millimeters uh, wide you can have uh, a little bit bigger but not too big because our buttonholes are going to be quite small in the pullover then uh, measuring tape in centimeters very very important uh, I will show you why in just a few seconds scissors and two hooks now for the main pullover or uh, the cardigan I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook so this one just to make um, the stitch a little bit uh, softer and I'm gonna have a four millimeter hook for the bottom part of the pullover and for the uh, ribbing of the sleeves just to give it a little bit of a uh, tucked in shape okay so two hooks 4.5 and 4 millimeters 
okay then yarn so you can use any kind of DK yarn I have this light blue from ice yarns uh, you definitely don't have to have this yarn any kind of DK or lightweight uh, yarn is going to be absolutely fine I have used uh, this before and uh, the ones that are multicolored I just used up some scraps in uh, all different kind of brands so do not worry whatever you have in DK or lightweight number free yarn okay so I have this light blue again the color is completely uh, for you to decide on uh, now you're going to need approximately two skins or approximately 200 grams a little bit less than that but if you have two uh, skins you will definitely have enough okay so now I'm going to show you why we're going to need the uh, measuring tape so I have a chart right here okay so as we are going to make uh, so it's technically a zero to six months pullover now if you want it to be a little bit smaller to better fit a zero to three months I have the measurements right here or if you want it to be a, a slightly bigger one uh, this these are the measurements here now like I said the general uh, part of this pullover is going to be the same for everybody uh, what we're going to need this for is to make the sleeves a little bit shorter if you're aiming for a smaller size and the same with the hood okay just a little bit shorter uh, or a little bit bigger if you're aiming for the bigger size okay and this uh, I will explain that in a few seconds as we are going to start our pullover Okay, so to begin, grab your 4.5 millimeter hook, the, or the bigger one, uh, the stitch markers, and your yarn. So we are going to start with this. Okay, so it is exactly the same for everyone. We are going to chain 59 plus 1. And chain 59. So 1, 2, 3 four five six seven eight nine ten and keep going until you have 59 chains and so I have 59 chains now we're going to do the plus one so add one more chain we have 60 in total now we're going to skip that chain that we just added go into the second one and make a single crochet so that is one and keep going making one single crochet into each stitch and at the end of this row we're gonna have 59 single crochet so I have one two three four and keep going to the end of your chain and so 59 single crochets now we are going to start row one of our pattern okay so this is like again this is exactly the same for everybody we are going to start with chaining two one and two the chain two counts as a double crochet in the the very very first one and now we're gonna turn our work okay so what I'm gonna show you now so these numbers in between the, the fans right here is how many stitches we skip uh, after each of them okay so they are a little bit different so you skip two stitches here three stitches three four three and so on now I'm gonna go quite slowly right here okay so uh, we have to skip two stitches before our first fan so you're gonna yarn over and skip two stitches now technically this very very first stitch is where the chain two is coming out of so we do not count this okay so this right here is already taken then we count two one two into the third one we make a double crochet another double crochet chain two and two more double crochets back into the same stitch so one and two so we skip two stitches right here it might look like three 
but like I said, the very first one is taken. And we have our first fan, so this one right here. Next, we're going to skip three stitches and we are going to have a corner fan. Now, have a stitch marker ready. So yarn over, skip three stitches. One, two, three, into the fourth one. We make two double crochets. One and two. We are going to chain two. One, two. Two more double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. Two chains. Chain one and chain two. And two more double crochets back into that same stitch. So this is how our corners will look in the repeat row number one. And there is going to be four repeat rows, okay? Now you want to grab your stitch marker and put it right in between the two middle double crochets. Right there. So we are kind of splitting it in half. Okay, so next we skip three stitches and make a fan. So yarn over, one, two, three, into the fourth stitch. We make two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Next, we skip four stitches and we make a fan. So yarn over, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, into the next, into the stitch number five, we make a fan, so two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets into that same stitch. Next, so we made this fan, we skip three stitches and we have a corner. So just like this one that we have made. So yarn over, skip three stitches, one, two, three, into the fourth, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets back into that same stitch. One and two. Again, grab a stitch marker and place it right in the middle in between the two double crochets in the very, very middle. So right in the, not the stitch, but right in between them. Okay, so we have our second corner. Next is the back of our cardigan, okay? So we skip three stitches and we have our first fan. So yarn over, one, two, three, we skip into the next stitch, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay? Then we skip four stitches and we have our second fan at the back. One, two, three, four, we skip into the next one. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, so we made the second fan. We skip four stitches and our third fan at the back, so yarn over. One, two, three, four, into stitch number five. We make two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets back into that same stitch. Then we skip three stitches and we have our third corner. So yarn over, one, two, three, into the fourth stitch, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay. 
grab a stitch marker and place it in between the two middle double crochets so right in there right in between them okay then we are at this shoulder we skip three stitches and make a fan one two three two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets skip four stitches our second fan on the shoulder one two three four I skip into the next one two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets our last corner we skip three stitches before that so yarn over one two three uh, in there in the fourth one we make two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets grab a stitch marker and place it in between the middle two double crochets we have one two three stitch marker and one two and three okay so the last bit we skip three stitches and we make a fan so we yarn over one two three we skip we make a fan two double crochets chain two two double crochets and to finish this row we should have three stitches left so yarn over so we skip two stitches one two into the very last stitch we make a double crochet and here we are we have just finished the repeat row one of the yoke okay so we have loads of fans we have big corners which made our first row into a square now and we can uh, start our row two so we do not need this for now if you need a better look uh, I will leave a link to my Facebook page and there will be a uh, close picture of this if you need to have a better look okay so to start row number two we are going to chain two one and two and we are going to turn now we are going to start our uh, front post double crochets so yarn over and make a front post double crochet around the very first double crochet of the fan so the first one out of four so front post double crochet then we're gonna go into the chain two space and make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet again into the chain two space and a double crochet around the very last double crochet of the fan so we skip the two middle double crochets go around the last one and make a front post double crochet now we are at our corner this is going to be, look a tiny little bit different than this so we have our stitch marker right in the middle so we're gonna go around the very first um, double crochet and make a front post double crochet now you need to remember this because you're gonna have to do the second time you're gonna do the repeat you're gonna have to do this uh, again okay and I might not be showing that okay so front post double crochet then we go right into the chain two space and we make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet and now we're gonna make a front post double crochet around the double crochet that we have left before the stitch marker so you yarn over go around that double crochet and make a front post double 
crochet. Now it's a little bit different because we had one less double crochet than right here, but we still have the same pattern. Now take the stitch marker out, okay, and you have three more double crochets left or kind of a smaller fan from the corner from the last row. Now you're gonna go around the first double crochet and make a front post double crochet. Grab your stitch marker and put it in in between the two front posts that are uh, touching each other right in between them. Then into the chain two space half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet and a front post double crochet around the very last double crochet from this corner fan. And here we are. Now uh, we will continue on and front post around the first double crochet from the fan, half double crochet into the chain two space, chain one, half double crochet and a front post double crochet around the last double crochet. One more double uh, front post double crochet around the first double crochet of the fan, half double crochet in the chain two space, chain one, half double crochet into the chain uh, two space and a double crochet around the last double crochet. Okay, so this is how it should look like. Now I'm going to show you the corner again. Front post double crochet around the first one. Half double crochet in the chain two space. Chain one. Half double crochet into the chain two space. Now we have one double crochet left before the stitch marker and we'll make a front post double crochet around that. Take the stitch marker out and the next double crochet that you had after the stitch marker is a front post double crochet. Now put the stitch marker back in between these two front posts that are touching. So again you're in the very very middle of the corner and to finish your um, corner into the chain two space, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet and a front post around the last double crochet from the corner. So just like that. So you keep going. When you have your normal fan like this, you make a front post double crochet around the first one into the chain two space, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and you finish the fan with a front post around the last double crochet. Then you come uh, uh, to the corner, okay, so these are all the same, the corner is slightly different, so front post, double crochet, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and a front post just to finish it off before the stitch marker. And then again you start front post, in the chain two space, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and you finish with a front post double crochet, and you mark in between the two front posts that are touching. Hopefully that makes sense, so keep going, I'll see you at the end right here. I have just finished my very last fan right here, and to finish repeat row number two, we're gonna yarn over and make a double crochet in the top of the chain two. So chain one and chain two. Uh, it might be a little bit twisted, do not worry, just make it into the side here so that the edge is straight. So double crochet. So all of our rows are gonna start and finish exactly the same. You finish it with a double crochet, you start with a chain two. And that is as long as we're going to make the yoke uh, up to the connection, if you're making the pullover, we are gonna swap um, and we will be starting rows at the back. Okay, so to start row, repeat row number three, we are going to chain two one and two and we are going to turn. 
Now we will be um, crocheting into the chain to space from previous row. So this is the chain to space from my first um, fan. So into that, oh excuse me, that is a chain one space. We're gonna make two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Now we are right at the corner right here. Find the chain one space before the stitch marker. There should be another one. So right here. And make two double crochets, chain two. Two more double crochets. Now where your stitch marker is exactly in between the two front posts from the previous row. Okay, so I'm going to keep the stitch marker in for now. I am going to make one double crochet just in between those two stitches. Now I'm going to take the stitch marker out and mark the top of that double crochet. So the stitch on the top. And then continue into each chain one space, two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets. Then the next chain one space, two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets. One more right here and we have another chain one space before the stitch marker we should have four fans in between uh, our stitch markers so one two three and four that is the sleeve part or the shoulder part so one more chain, chain one space, chain two, two more double crochets. And exactly where the stitch marker is in between the two front post double crochets from previous row, we make one double crochet. And that is our corner going forward. Mark the stitch from the double crochet and keep going you find a chain one space and you make a fan the only difference in this row is that when you come to a stitch marker you make one double crochet there so I'm gonna have one here and one more here keep going I'll see you at the end of uh, repeat row number three and we are going to finish this row with a double crochet into the top of that chain two. So chain one and chain two into that top chain, a double crochet. Now we have just finished repeat row number three. Now um, uh, you should have two fans in in the front, so one, two. Shoulders should have one, two, three, four fans the back should have one two three four five another shoulder four fans and the front two fans just in case uh, you are wondering okay so now we are going to start repeat no uh, repeat row number four for the yoke and we start with chaining two one two and turn now uh, we're gonna make the same uh, thing that we made right here with the fans so front post double crochet around the first one and that is how the pattern will keep going once you have a full fan you just do the front post half double crochet chain one half double crochet and front post okay so half chain half and front post double crochet so your fans are always running one on top of each other front half double crochet chain one half double crochet and front post double crochet now once you come to the stitch marker 
What we are going to do in this row, we're going to take this out, make sure that you can see the stitch from that double crochet, and we are going to make a V stitch on top of that double crochet. So we go in there, we make a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. We mark the chain one space. That is going to be our corner in the next row. And then continue on each fan as, uh, as we do the pattern are, is exactly the same. So keep going. I will see you at the next corner. I want to show the V-stitch to you uh, one more time. Did my shoulder. I am at my next stitch marker. I'm going to take this out and into the top stitch of that double crochet we make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Mark the chain one space. And now keep going. So like I said, all the finished full fans that we have, uh, you just make the pattern where you have the chain or the stitch marker in the stitch right here, you make double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Keep going, I'll see you at the end of this row. To finish repeat row number four for the yoke, we make a double crochet in the top of the chain two. And here we are now, we're gonna have to start repeating the rows. So we are going to start uh, so next row is the row that we did first of the pattern. Now I am going to go, uh, I'm just going to show a little bit uh, of each row until we finish the yoke. Okay, so I'm not going to go all around. So you should know by now what we do on top of each uh, fan. I just want to remind you and to make sure that you have the correct corners right here. So that is why I'm going to uh, just show the little bit. The rest you're gonna have to do on your own. Now to start chain two turn and make a fan into each chain one space. So two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets into the next chain one space And here we are at our stitch marker. Now into that chain one space of the V stitch into the very, very middle, we make two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets into that chain one space from the V stitch. Mark the very middle in between the two middle double crochets, right in there. And then continue on with a pattern. And you're going to have the same thing right here. Everything in between is the normal fan. And the same here, all normal and your corner. Okay, so finish this row. I'll see you at the end and we will start the next one together. So we just finished repeat row number one for the second time and double crochet at the very end. Chain two and we are going to start repeat row number two for the second time. So front post, half double crochet, chain, chain one, half double crochet and a front post for your average fan. So keep going until you get to your corner. Now here we are. We make a front post double crochet around the first double crochet, chain two space we make a half double crochet, chain one, 
half double crochet and we only use the first double crochet right here to make a front post double crochet we take the stitch marker out then we make a front post double crochet around the next one put your stitch marker back in between right in between the two front post double crochets and continue on so in the chain two space half double crochet chain one half double crochet and a front post around the last double crochet of the previous uh, row of that fan so again exactly the same as we did here and then continue on with your normal fans and make the same in the corner right here Oops. Uh, finishing this row with a double crochet into the top of that chain two to start repeat row number three for the second time chain two and make fans into the chain one space from the previous row until you get to your stitch marker now at this point you should have one extra fan because we do increasing in those corners so one more right here I started with one fan in the front then we had two fans in the front and now we should have three fans in the front before our stitch marker exactly where the stitch marker is in between the two front post double crochets from the previous row we make one double crochet stitch marker into the top of that double crochet into that stitch and then continue on making your fans in the chain one space and double crochet exactly where your stitch markers are keep going I will see you at the end of this row once we finished this row we can check if we are on point with the number of our fans so front should have one two three and the other one one two three fans now the both shoulders should have the same amount so one two three four five six one two three four five six and the back should have one two three four five six seven fans and then the stitch markers on the top of double crochet now the next row is the last row of increasing our yoke after that we will be connecting uh, and making it into an actual cardigan rather than um, sort of a square okay so as usual start with chaining two and until you get to that stitch marker just your usual pattern of the fan so with the front post double crochets and now where your stitch marker is in this row you are going to make a V stitch so double crochet chain one and double crochet back into that same stitch mark your chain one space and keep going just like that I will see you at the end of this row okay and so we have finished our uh, four repeat rows twice so we have not counting the single crochet row uh, eight rows of pattern in total okay so or one two three four full fully made fans okay one two three and four so the next row uh, we are now just going to connect the 
yolk. Now before we do that we just want to make sure that we are on point uh, and you are pretty much close to where I am on measurements. Uh, okay so this is from from here you're gonna start thinking uh, are you making the slightly smaller size or the slightly bigger one so zero to three months or three to six I will be making three to six months so first of all we're gonna check if we are on point on the chest so chest measurement uh, the big number is the full uh, number in centimeters so would be 40 centimeters in total as it is not connected it is impossible to measure that so we're gonna measure the back which is a half of the full measurement so 24 centimeters okay so we just want to make sure that we are approximately at the same point right now so if I measure from one to uh, from one stitch marker to another, I am at approximately 22 and a half, 23 centimeters. Now that looks a little short to me, but uh, we are gonna have we are going to add another few chains and these stitches right here uh, when we are connecting. So that is going to uh, increase. Now, if you are worried uh, that your chest is going to be uh, bigger than the one on the list I have, that is perfectly fine. Now you have to understand that this is a pullover for a baby. Okay, so uh, to have more space around the chest uh, will be easier to put it on. So anyways, I uh, when I was creating this, I was thinking ahead and I was thinking that the chest should be uh, slightly wider than I would usually make just to make it easier to put on okay so uh, if this is fine for you uh, then we can keep going and connect our yoke so now to connect we are going to chain two and turn and we're gonna make our usual uh, fans until we get to that stitch marker okay so uh, two double crochets chain two I only made chain one chain two and two more double crochets and to the next chain one space two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and one more now this is the connection okay so into your V stitch make another V stitch so yarn over go in to the chain one space where your stitch marker is double crochet chain one and double crochet now next we have to make a few chains now if you think uh, you are a little bit um, let's say you are a little bit shorter the, here than me you can make five chains right now okay so I was pretty much on point so I will be making three chains it doesn't make a lot of difference like the chain uh, the number of chains uh, does is not going to change the pattern uh, the only thing is that uh, it's going to have a slightly longer gap right here under the armholes uh, so it might um, you know just have a bit more space so it's easier to put on but just if you think that you are a little bit shorter right here than me okay so V stitch then the number of chains so three or five chains I'm gonna do three one two and three now I'm gonna find the next stitch marker this is going to be our sleeve and right where the stitch marker is I'm gonna make a V stitch so into the chain one space double crochet chain one and double crochet and then after that you continue with your fans two double crochets chain two and two double crochets okay so keep going until you get to your next stitch marker 
I am at my next stitch marker. I make a V stitch in the chain one space, so right where the stitch marker is, chain one, double crochet. Now next you need to chain the same number of chains as you did on the other side, so I have three, one, two, and three. Skip the sleeve and in the last stitch marker a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And continue on with your normal fans until you get to the end. Now again this is where you need to decide now um, if it's going to be a pullover or an open front because at this point we are connecting the front part if you're going to make a pullover. Okay? If you are making the normal open front, you just keep going. Everything is exactly the same. The only thing is that I will be starting my rows at the back. I will bring my um, starting uh, into the back right here. If you don't want that, you just start with chaining two and finish with a double crochet each time. Okay, so you just start from here where I will be going to the back. Now, to connect your fronts, we're going to finish with a double crochet right here. We are going to chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to find the top of the chain two on the other side. So one and two, and we make a slip stitch chain one and cut off I'm gonna leave a little bit uh, longer tail and pull that out that is it now uh, the next row I'm going to start at the back of the cardigan just so you cannot see the the connection very well now it's a little bit more difficult you're gonna have to remember how every row starts and ends just because I want uh, it to be less noticeable okay so as our next row is with the front post double crochets I'm gonna flip around and I'm gonna start anywhere at the back okay so let's say I'm gonna start it in this V stitch closer to the to this chain right here. So I kind of want it to be as much as possible uh, to the uh, to the underarm. Okay, so now remember how this starts because we're gonna start with a half double crochet, which will be made in chains. Okay, so you connect your yarn and you're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. So I connect it into the chain two space. Okay, so the three chains count as a half double crochet and a chain one. Then we make a half double crochet back into that chain two space. Then we make a front post double crochet to finish this fan. So what we have right here, we kind of started the fan in the middle. When we are finishing this row, we're going to have to finish it with a front post double crochet because it's not finished. Okay? Just that way, it's uh, um, not so noticeable where you start and finish. Next, so if you're going from the, from the front, you're going to uh, make your normal fans until you come to your V-stitch. So this is what we're going to do right here. Okay? So you're going to make a front post double crochet around the first one then half double crochet into the chain one chain one half double crochet and a front post double crochet around that other double crochet so we turned a V stitch into a fan okay and we're gonna skip all the chains doesn't matter how many chains you had here I had three chains absolutely does not matter right into the next V stitch we make a double crochet into the chain one space 
half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and front pose double crochet to finish. Again, as you can see right here, you cannot really see those chains anymore. Just make sure you have them. We're gonna have to connect our start our sleeve on this chain. But at this point, uh, we uh, got the pattern going again. Now the next few V stitches are as usual until you get to those chains in the front. Okay, so keep going. I'll see you right here. Now this is what we are going to uh, to do with these free chains right here, okay? So because we don't have any double crochets, we cannot make our pattern. We are going to chain two. We're going to find that mi middle uh, chain. So I had three chains. It looks like four because we had this, uh, this slip stitch, but this is my middle one. And we're going to make a single crochet. We're going to chain two and start on the next um, fan just as nothing's happened okay so and then the next row uh, there is going to be an extra fan in that um, single crochet right there and if you're afraid that these uh, make a big holes and they will be noticeable the tail that I have left when I will be doing the front right here or after when I will be hiding those tails uh, pretty much at any point, I will just, with a needle, take these and I will connect them slightly so the holes do not look that big. Other than that, I promise you this will not be noticeable. And continue on with your usual fans and we have one more place where we have those V stitches that we need to turn into the into the fans okay so right here I am and again exactly the same on the other side front post double crochet half chain one half and front post skip all those chains right into the next v-stitch front post half chain one half and front post and again we have turned it into the pattern so keep going until you get to the place where we started this row okay so I'm ready to finish off this row so this is the halfway made uh, fan that I have started this row on. So I'm gonna yarn over and finish it off with a front post double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain threes just into the middle and as you can see it does not look any different from the other fans. So just remember that you have started with chaining three so half double crochet and chain one and then finished half double crochet and then you keep going and when you come back you just make your last front post double crochet okay so now uh, to start the next row we are going to chain two one and two and we're going to turn and this counts as our first double crochet out of the four and again we start with only a half of the fan so uh, chain two and double crochet back in there so that is like the uh, these two double crochets we are still missing two so we're gonna go all the way around and at the end we're gonna add the other two so chain two double crochet then into the next chain one space two double crochets chain two and two double crochets as your usual in every chain one space so keep going uh, nothing uh, special here apart from those who have the single crochet right here I'm gonna see you in here and we will add another fan instead of that single uh, crochet uh, I am at my single crochet where I have my connection in the front 
So I'm just gonna add a fan just like that into that single crochet. So one, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. And now we have our pattern running throughout the cardigan or the pullover, whatever, whatever you are making. Okay, and then you just continue on. Now, if you are uh, making a cardigan with an open front, obviously you are not going all the way around. You are still starting and finishing at the front. So, just like that, all the way down. So, for now, keep going. Okay, so into every chain one space. And I will see you right here where we need to finish our the very first fan. Okay, so to finish this row, we need to add two more double crochets. So one and two and chain one. Uh, we're only going to chain one right here because when we're going to slip stitch into here, it will kind of leave one more stitch so it will uh, have the same size hole as every uh, every other fan okay so chain one and into that chain two that we have started it with slip stitch and here we are we have a fan just like all others so we just kind of start with the front two double crochet so one two and then we go around and we finish it with two double crochets and chain one and slip stitch excuse me okay so now uh, to start the next row okay we are going to chain three one two three again that counts as your half double crochet and chain one you are gonna turn okay and back into that chain one space you make a half double crochet okay so this is how you start and then you go on to make a front post double crochet and keep going with your pattern as usual I will come back to show you how we finish just to kind of remind you right here okay okay so finishing off again we need a to finish with a front post double crochet to finish off this fan and into the chain one space slip stitch and here we are it's a fan just like any other then you start with chaining two and you turn and you make another double crochet right before it okay so you have these two double crochets here you go all the way around with your pattern and you finish with the other two double crochets chain one and slip stitch in so I will not show you anymore so if you need to see how to start those rows you can uh, go back and um, uh, have a look of uh, how I have uh, just did that so for now we just need to keep going let me just uh, check how many rows we should have from under the arms okay so keep going with this pattern now uh, again it doesn't matter if you have the open uh, front or uh, closed as a pullover right here so what we want is when you look underneath the arm you want to have four fully made uh, uh, fans so one two so I need to to do three and four like fully made okay so fully made is the two rows together okay so one two three four and you want to start uh, the fifth one okay so you only want to, to have the fans with two double crochets chain two two double crochets because we're gonna have to do uh, a little bit of um, cleaning up on the edge before we start the edging at the bottom now we do this we meet up after we have this 
done and then we're gonna see if we need to add a few more rows or if we can end there and then do the ribbing okay I will explain everything for now uh, just keep going for another little while and I will be right back okay so at this point we are getting ready to finish uh, the pattern for the bottom of the pullover now we want to measure right here just to make sure that we are approximately at the same length so I have one two three four fully finished fans and then I have started the last one the fifth one okay so I have the uh, just the beginning with double crochets and the chain two so now if you measure from underarm you should approximately be at about 11 12 11 and a half 12 centimeters approximately there somewhere if you are off uh, by measuring uh, this uh, do not worry the thing is that uh, we will still have the ribbing underneath uh, on the bottom right here okay so we're gonna have one more row to finish our fans plus the ribbing now you can make the ribbing a little bit longer or a little bit shorter depending on how much you're missing there okay and again this is a very approximate measurement which is I'm gonna show you in a second so uh, you can do four single crochets for the ribbing uh, five six seven you know the, the more single crochets you're gonna make uh, the longer it's going to be the less the shorter it is going to be we just want to have a little bit of finishing here at the bottom okay so uh, let's see right here uh, so the length that is from the underarm like this length in full okay so as I'm making the bigger one three to six months I want approximately uh, 16 centimeters can be a little bit longer can be a little bit shorter uh, just approximately there somewhere and like I said I am at approximately 11 and a half maybe 12 centimeters once I finish it's gonna get a little bit longer and then the rest I'm just going to uh, make the ribbing okay I'll see how many uh, single crochets I can get in there and do the ribbing okay so remember that might come in handy for you okay so to finish now we want to clean up the edge right here we still want to make the pattern but we want it to have to be a little bit straighter for the ribbing so what I'm going to do okay so I finished with a two double crochet chain one two double crochet right here I'm gonna chain one and turn now every time we come to the chain two space what we are going to do right here is that we are going to make two single crochets in the chain two space okay so one single crochet two single crochets then a front post as usual we're just uh, swapping the half double crochet chain one half double crochet for two single crochets in there and the edge should get much straighter and that's uh, all there is to it just keep going I'll see you at the end right here okay and so to finish these are my two single crochets that I have started with I'm just going to slip stitch in there now the next row is single crochets if you have enough space to do like a nice good good bit of ribbing you can do the single crochet row which I am going to do if you are quite close let's say two or three centimeters from your full length at this mo moment you can skip the single crochet row and just uh, start from where you are the the ribbing okay so I have another little bit of space left yeah I have ab about about three centimeters left uh, which is plenty so I have the space for the single crochet row um, again it is your decision if you want to do that or not uh, other than that you still have those stitches I'm just gonna have single crochets on top of that 
I am going to change the hook to the four millimeter uh, just to start uh, pulling that bottom part in a tiny little bit and now if you have the front open right here everything is exactly the same the only thing is that you are starting at the front and finishing on the other side and then you will start your ribbing from one side and go all the way around the other and finish here without connecting okay so everything exactly the same just you do not connect it together okay so to do my single crochet row <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, chain one uh, and I'm going to turn and make one single crochet into each stitch all the way around with my four millimeter hook slightly smaller one so that is all there is to it keep going I'll see you at the end I went all the way around and I will just slip stitch to my first stitch now next part is our ribbing okay so now we have to figure out uh, how long we should make it there's uh, a few ways to do that one you can just kind of um, do five or six and then um, make a few rows and then measure it uh, and then you see if you need more or less to get to your uh, length the other way is so I know that this should be approximately 16 centimeters for me in total length I measure that out so I am at 13 centimeters uh, so to get to my 16 I need another three now as our ribbing will be made out of single crochets and I have a single crochet row right here I'm just going to measure out how many single crochets fit in three centimeters and I can see right here so you see from the beginning and this is two and two uh, three centimeters so one two three four now I'm gonna make five just in case just to make it a little bit longer okay so one two three four make up for the three centimeters and I'll just have the fifth chain um, just to make it a little bit longer because I have noticed when you do the ribbing sometimes uh, well or usually it kind of um, doesn't stretch that long as you measure right here so I'm just just to be safe I will do five now if you don't have a single crochet row like I do have right here you have a single crochet row on the top and you can uh, measure that out okay so I'm gonna do five single crochets for the ribbing I'm gonna keep my four millimeter hook now technically it does not matter which way you are going when you are making um, your ribbing right here if you have an opening in the front you're gonna have no choice you're just gonna have to start uh, on the side that you are on but the rest is exactly the same so what you want to do is the number of single crochets that you have counted out which is five for me you're gonna chain the same number so one two three four and five now to start your ribbing you're gonna need to add an extra chain so I have six in total you're gonna skip the very very uh, first chain and go into the second one and make a single crochet so that's one two three four and five for me because that is what I have counted out now if you counted more you should have more single crochets now next we are going to make two slip stitches so one into the next stitch and one into the next one okay so we're using two stitches so slip stitch one and slip stitch two you're gonna turn your work now we're gonna go into the into the back loop every row that we will be making our ribbing we will be only using the back loop okay so when you look at it you have the front loop of the stitch and the back loop so you're gonna only catch that back one I'm gonna put your yarn in front now you need to, to see carefully you need to skip those two slip stitches that you have made so one and two I skip those two this is my very first stitch into the back loop 
single crochet one into the back loop two back loop three back loop four and back loop five you need to make sure that you have the same amount of single crochets all the way around when you are making the ribbing then you're going to chain one you're gonna turn you're gonna skip that chain one that you have just made so the very very top one find the stitch underneath and into the back loop start your single crochet so one two three four and five for me okay then two slip stitches so slip stitch one slip stitch two one and two turn yarn put your yarn in front skip the two slip stitches one and two so this is my first stitch into the back loop one two three four and five chain one turn skip the chain one into the back of the first stitch into the back loop one two three four and five and two slip stitches slip stitch one and into the next one slip stitch two turn yarn in front skip the two slip stitches one two and this is my first stitch into the back loop one two three four and five chain one into the back skip the chain one into the back loop you come all the way down to a slip stitches and you keep going like this and this is your um, ribbing okay now at any point where you have uh, a little bit made you can always measure if you got to your length as you can see right here I am at approximately at approximately 16 maybe 16 and a half centimeters in length so for now you want to keep going with the ribbing all the way around I'm gonna see you at the end right here and I will show you now because we're making a pullover right so we're gonna have to connect this together so keep going see you right here okay and so I have finished the ribbing all the uh, all around my pullover now if you are not making a pullover you can just finish at the bottom let me show you okay so it was exactly the same I came up to here and if I had an extra stitch, stitch at the bottom I just slip stitch into that chain one and cut my yarn uh, if uh, if not I just finish up here it really doesn't matter where you finish as long as you use up all or you know you can have one stitch left it doesn't make a big difference because it's gonna be covered uh, by this edge right here okay so you just finish where you finish uh, now uh, for the pullover we need to connect this and the easiest way I find to connect is with the slip stitches now you can sew it together uh, really doesn't matter what whatever you prefer I just prefer it uh, with slip stitching it's really quite unnoticeable now you want to start um, uh, connecting when you have one stitch or no stitches left now it looks like I have two stitches right here but if you look close this one the chains are coming out of this one okay so I'm not gonna count this as a stitch because I have one right here that I can connect to now if you ended up using up all of your um, stitches you can um, slip stitch into that one you can use it if you need to okay but I have an extra stitch so I'm just gonna slip stitch into that and now we will start slip stitching upwards now this is the side where I have my chains, leftover chains, and this is my ribbing where I have just finished. Now what you want to do is you want to go into the first or the leftover chains from the first row and into the bottom loop of each, 
of each stitch now I have my yarn inside uh, this is my first stitch I'm gonna go into the back loop catch my yarn inside pull pull and pull like that into the next one and into the bottom I'm gonna kind of catch only the bottom pull out pull out and pull out into the third one and third one on the other side only in the bottom loop four and five the very very top one so just like that I'm gonna chain one and it kind of becomes quite unnoticeable there I'm gonna cut my yarn and hide my tail now we can hide your tails uh, later on I will try to hide uh, most of them as I go because it is my least favorite job to do the tails so I try to not to leave too many for the very end so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go behind keep that loop go into the loop and pull tight and then just hide a little bit more in between the stitches okay so this is <clears throat> the end of part one and we have most of the pullover or the hoodie or the cardigan whatever you're making made okay so this is how it looks like now in part two we are obviously going to do the sleeves the hood and the edging around it which I think is probably um, I don't know if it's difficult it's probably uh, least comfortable uh, to crochet because we're gonna have to do this again right here there's a few things that I'm gonna say that you can change around uh, whatever you feel like anyways uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about pullovers as in general is it a thing that you like to crochet and about pullovers for babies as they are uh, could be a little tricky to put on babies I do like them and I enjoy making them they are a bit more difficult but I have to say they do look really nice most of the pullovers anyways well thank you very much I'll see you in part two bye